Welcome to Invest Ed Central's Market Minute, sponsored by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to December 21st Market Minute. I'm John Hopkins, President of Invested Central. Right now, we got the Dow futures down 14, the S&P futures are down 2, and the NASDAQ futures are down 4. Asian shares were mixed overnight while European shares were down as banks took almost 490 billion euros at the ECB's first ever offering of three-year funding. Tuesday started out strong and remained strong all day long as bulls cheered positive housing news and a drop in yields on foreign bonds. Right on cue, the bulls rallied the troops, moving the S&P back above its 20 and 50 day moving average, a nifty bit of technical repair work, and none too soon. Investors moved out of U.S. Treasury bonds and into equities, sending both yields and stocks higher. Today we're going to get the November existing home sales with the market expecting 5.03 million sales. We'll also get crude inventories later in the morning. Oracle reported its earnings after the bell last night and investors weren't impressed with the stock down almost 10% after hours. Tonight we're going to get earnings reports from Bed Bath & Beyond and Micron Technology. We've got the S&P 20-day moving average at 1227, the 50-day at 1230, and the 200-day at 1259. We've got support on the S&P at 1230 and resistance at 1255. The bulls did their work as necessary Tuesday, with the S&P moving back above both the 20 and 50 day moving averages. Now we need to see if they can get some follow through, with 1255 now serving as the next level of resistance. Just above this level is the 200 day moving average sitting at 1259 and a move in close above this level would be bullish. Another important development Tuesday was the continuing decline in the VIX which has moved from north of 35 in mid-November to 23.22 at yesterday's close. This is a bullish development and if the VIX continues lower, that should result in higher equity prices. The bottom line here, the bulls have an opportunity to add to their gains here, but the bears will be looking for any opening to regain the momentum. As long as the S&P remains above the 20 and 50 day moving averages, the bulls should be okay, especially as we head into a seasonally positive time of the year. This is John Hopkins. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another Market Minute.